as we think about this, this challenge of reconciliation, particularly, particularly between the police officers and the communities they serve, you know, I'd love to ask Amir and, and Ryan if you could speak to how, how do we approach that? How can we get to a place where, uh, you know, I was thinking we've already, some, several people have quoted Dr. King, but he talked about how hate only destroys, right? But love builds and creates. How do we get to a place where it is through love that we can build and create those relationships between police officers and their communities? And Ryan and Amir, either one of you, jump in. One of the things I've realized, we, we're living in some trying times in society in general. It's not just police and uh, community relations. You look at COVID-19, you have division whether you should wear a mask or you shouldn't wear a mask. You have division from Democrat or Republican and which, what, what side are you on? Then you have the you know, division, you know, are you Black Lives Matter, are you Blue Lives Matter, are you All Lives Matter? And unfortunately, we're living in a society that we've become so divided, and if you align with something that is different from another person, then we can no longer have dialogue. I think one of the things, one of the most valuable things about this, this tour that we're on is the ability to connect as a family and to have dialogue as family members. And one of the, brilliance, one of the brilliant things about this, this tour is that every single one of us are different, like very different in many ways. Me and my brother Leon, my sister Alice, I mean, all of us, we're all different, but at the same time, we're all the same in many ways. We realize we have more things in common than we do differences. And so we've learned as a family, any good family would do is, we may have differences in a family, but we also learn how to connect with each other and accept us our, for our differences and grow together as a family. That's what makes a family strong. And I think that's what's lacking in this relationships between law enforcement and the community. I have a unique perspective on things because I'm one of those guys that goes out there and has to deal with situations on a regular basis where people are being victimized. I've gone on calls where I've seen somebody stabbed nine times and their four-year-old son standing right next to them. I've gone to have to knock on a door and tell somebody that they actually had their dad was murdered. I've gone to traffic collisions where I've seen people that are just, their bodies are just dismembered. But I've also, on the flip side of that, seen police do brutality. I posted a video of this on my social media page yesterday where an officer in Texas went over to some guys that were heckling him and decided to knee him in the face and then handcuff him for cussing in public. It's not right. And so I'm at a unique place where I get to see both sides of it. I get to see where we have, we've made the mistakes, but I also get to see where the solutions can come from. But the only way we're gonna be able to find those solutions is by having dialogue, and like my brother down there said, through love. And I'm a firm believer in Jesus Christ, and I think love conquers all. And I truly believe that if we do continue to put that love for, if we love, ourself, if we love our neighbor as we love ourselves, then that's the start of healing right there. 